This block of land um, that we're on now with our, our, our home, the Hill Plains House, uh, I came across in 2006. My name's Jerry Wolveridge, I'm from Wolveridge Architects. Uh, we're based in Collingwood. So we went about uh, designing this home um, for our clients on the site and we got through the planning process a reasonable sort of to a reasonable extent I'd say and they um, they decided they didn't want a rural property and they wanted to be by the beach instead so they said with a great deal of sadness they were going to sell the property so I made plans to to buy the um, buy the property off the client and went ahead and uh, and designed our own um, our own home So the design of the house here really came about through a bit of a, a review of local agricultural buildings. And was one in particular that really caught my eye. What I liked about it was its sim simple form. It was built in um, Victorian times, timber clad shed with, a, with an iron roof with a st steep pitch, uh, random openings. I had a thought that a building out here that was not unlike a agricultural shed um, would be appropriate um, in the landscape. Also or adopted the notion of, um, of an actual shed construction. So if you look around the house here, this building is, is, a, is a series of steel portal frame structures, but we adopted a philosophy of avoiding domestic materials. So on the inside, we wanted to sort of maintain that idea that the building was more akin to agricultural construction and architecture than domestic. There's a few parts to the sustainability and the performance of the building uh, as an off-grid home. Uh, firstly, with the design, the plan arrangements, uh, the long and thin uh, plan enabled cross-ventilation through various components of the building. So that's worked really well. We've had, in our 10 years, we've had some seriously hot summers and the house on the whole has performed really well. The systems that we have used in the, in the house, uh, our heating is a wood-fired 35 kilowatt um, Siemens boiler in the laundry. And we have, of course, radiator grills and, uh, and panels uh, in each of the rooms. Um, ceiling fans and all the habitable spaces just help draw air through the, um, through the building. When we do go away, um, you know, if there have been sunny days, it'll have an impact as to how warm the house might be. It's a real fabulous experience with the kids. To, we all have a bit of a guessing game to check the temperature and, and, and guess what the temperature might be when we, when we get inside the house. It's also been really interesting to observe the temperature fluctuations through night and day, both in summer and in winter. You know, we've had 45 degree days ongoing and the house getting up to a maximum of about 27. So 27 is pretty warm. The bedrooms don't get much over 24. This room gets particularly warm because, again, because of the amount of glazing. So I suppose if I did have my time again, would probably make a better effort to screen them and probably reduce the amount of glazing. This is the first home that we've designed and built and live in. In fact, it's only been the only one. And having lived here for 10 years uh, has been a really fabulous experience. And I think that the 10 years since, as opposed to the 10 years prior, has been really, uh, really fabulous in, in terms of being able to reflect on designing your own home, you know, turning a sketch into a building and how that actually impacts on the way you live.